Uh, if you're watching this now, you know that Ohio State just landed a huge commitment from top 100 offensive lineman Donovan Jackson. Donovan uh, elected to sit down with us here uh, just before his announcement um, to, to give us uh, some details about things. And, uh, you know, Donovan, I'll give you the, the leeway now. Um, you know, you, you've committed to Ohio State. What was it about the Buckeyes? Uh, the state of Ohio in general has been a big part of my life. You know, my parents meet there. I have a lot of family there. But in terms of my recruitment, Coach Studd is uh, probably the – I have the best relationship with him. Uh, I know we joke around all the time, but he he's serious with me when he needs to be. When Coach Day signed on uh, since day one, I believe I clicked with him. And it was just a gut feeling at that point. I, I didn't feel the need to drag this on until my senior season because I knew I wanted to be a book guy. Penn State game, um, you know, what did you see on that visit, and was that something that kind of sealed the deal for you? Uh, just seeing how dominant the offensive line was and seeing how that program is truly a brotherhood. It's not just a, uh, a saying. It's those guys in the locker room trust each other, and that's something I want to be a part of. Yeah. Um, you know, at what point did you kind of know? I know you, you've um, made announcement or your, your announcement arrangements around your school schedule and and um, you know, a convenient time for your family and everything else. But you know, it, was there a was there a day where you sat down with your family and and kind of came to the conclusion? And kind of, can you talk through how that process went for you? Uh, after the Penn State game, I s sat down with my family. And I asked them. I was like, it, um, I I, I want to be a Buckeye. Like, I I feel like that game sealed the deal for me. You know, uh, there was a lot of a lot building up to it, but for the most part, that game is what really did it for me. Um, so I was there for the next two days, and so I sat down with Coach Day and I told him then. But it was that seeing what the offensive line did and what Coach Studd has done to develop his players, and just how successful and how the whole state of Ohio is uh, like behind you at all times. Mm -hmm. It's just it's that's what pretty much drove me to make the decision. Yeah. Um, you know, you've talked about your relationship with Coach Studd. Uh, Unbelievable job this year by the offensive line at, at Ohio State, uh, paving the way for a, not only a 2,000-yard rusher, but you know, allowing Justin Fields to to have the type of year that he had. Um, you know, how as an as an offensive lineman yourself and a guy who I've seen play, you know, tackle, guard, all over the line, seeing that type of success up and down the offensive line, you know, how does that impact you? And you you, you know looked at some other schools that have some great offensive lines as well, but. You know, when you see that, I mean, just how important was that, I guess, for you? Uh, just seeing how those players developed since coming into the program. Um, just how they moved uh, defensive line from point A to point B. And they worked as a team, you know, double teams with Chris, all that. And so the seeing what Coach Studd has done with that unit uh, was probably a big factor in my recruitment. Yeah. Um, you know, we talked about the Ohio ties here. Your, your grandmother lives in Cincinnati, right? Mm -hmm. Um, your your dad is from the Cleveland area. Your mom is from the Cincinnati area. And they they met, met at Miami met of Ohio, Ohio, right? Yeah. And then, like the first day of school, I believe. Uh, I think they uh, your dad told me like like right away. Um, you know, so you've always had this connection with the state of Ohio. But you know, how about your your family? I mean, are they all are they Ohio State people? Or you know, kind of it seems like everyone's on the same page with this decision. So is Ohio State always just kind of been a part of your guys' family? Um. I wouldn't say they've always been a part of my family. You know, uh, my family's kind of all over the place. They're kind of spread out across the United States. So I, I didn't I didn't feel tied down to a team from the start. And so when I first started getting recruited, they told me, it was like, hey, this is your decision. We'll support you no matter what. And so it just so happened that you know, the team, the, the school I chose happened to be where a majority of my family is. But it's I, I just fell in love with Ohio State. As time went on, did that maybe help, though, the family connection where, uh, I mean, Grandma's got to be, you said you go to Thanksgiving uh, in Cincinnati yeah, now, now it's a short, I mean, how's Grandma feeling about this? Oh, she was, like, over the moon when I told her. She was, you know, um, crying, she was hugging me, she was like, I'm so proud of you. But um, she, um, I wouldn't say she played a huge factor in my recruitment, <laughs> but it's certainly, it's certainly a plus. N I'm nice closer. icing on the cake there. Yeah. Um, what did you notice? You know, you mentioned the the, the fans. Um, what did you notice from the the fans when you were at the Penn State game? Because uh, that was obviously one of the huge games of the season for them. And 
Um, you know, obviously a great crowd that day. Did you expect that? I mean, I know you've been up there several times, but uh, I think a lot of your previous visits, you know, I think you did a spring game and some things like that. I mean, what, what did you notice, I guess, from the environment there that day? Well, just because it was raining that day, and usually when it's raining, that discourages a lot of fans from being there, but that, that stadium was still, you know, almost filled to capacity, so the, um, the devotion that the fans have towards the team and seeing them tra uh, traveling to other stadiums and hearing OHIO across the stadium, even on away, uh, on away games. It's just, um, it's just the fan base is amazing. Well, let's talk about Donovan Jackson, though, for me. We talked about, we talked enough about Ohio State. Um, <laughs> you had, uh, we won a state championship this year. Um, you've, you had a great summer, I thought, of, of preparation, um, doing the camps, challenging yourself uh, against you know, the nation's best players at some of the big camps, uh, guys uh, mostly a year older than you. Um, you know, how, just, I guess, how fulfilling was your, was your junior year um, as far as accomplishing what you set out to? Um, coming, coming into my junior year, I said that I wanted to take part in the big national camps, and I think I, I done, I've done that with the five-star challenge, participating in that, and winning MVP at the opening over big guys at that camp. And so I pretty much showed that, hey, I, I do belong, and I'm not just some name you hear. I actually have talent. But in my junior year, I wanted to show, improve my hand placement, improve the little things to make, to make myself stand out. So uh, throughout the year, I just kept that in mind, like, hey, you, you got to stand out. You got you to gotta be different from the rest. And so throughout the year, we did that, and that ended up great with the state championship. Yeah. The one thing I've kind of liked about you, um, just evaluating you at some of these camps, you have I've seen you play left guard, left tackle, right guard, right tackle. So you can you can play outside, you can play inside. It seems like you can play left or right side. What has Ohio State said to you about you know your role maybe when you get up there? Have they you know penciled you in anywhere or kind of how you know where do you, where do you think your future is gonna gonna be? Uh, Coach Studd just told me top five line and play. <laughs> so it's like. If, if he tells me to play, you know, left guard, I'll play left guard. If he tells me to play right guard, I'll be right there playing right guard. And if he tells me to play tackle, I'll be right there getting the kick stance to play tackle. So it, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll always be prepared to play either position. So you're going to be kind of the Swiss Army knife of the, uh, of the class in terms of just kind of fitting in wherever is needed to get the best combination out there. I mean, there's certainly there's been guys in, in the past at Ohio State that have that have done that. Um, you know, Josh Myers right now is a guy who's kind of bounced from guard and center, and he's a guy that, you know, can, can kind of do all these different things. I mean, how do you look at, you know, kind of those guys? You know, are, are those mentors of yours? Have you had a chance to interact with any of those guys? A Josh Myers, a Wyatt Davis, or a Thayer Munford yet? I mean, kind of what's your relationship been with those guys through this uh, process? Um, after I committed, I came out to one of their practices after the Penn State game, and that's when all the guys came up to me, pretty much welcoming me and my family into the basically the brotherhood. And so I'd, I'd had previous interactions with some of them, nothing too major, but just having that moment, just, just saying hi to uh, basically every offensive lineman, that was pretty great. Yeah. Um, you know, what is Ohio State getting? We, you know, we talked about your versatility, but, you know, if you could sum yourself up in, you know, a sentence or two, I mean, what type of player do you think uh, you are and what, what, what you're going to bring uh, to the Ohio State offensive line room? Uh, you know, I, I strive to be the best, and I strive to make the best out of everyone around me. So I always keep my head down and work. I, I like to lead, but overall, you're just going to get a hard worker that's just coming in and win. Yeah. Now, a lot of you linemen are kind of different creatures. <laughs> um, you know, you don't get a lot of the maybe the publicity that a quarterback or a running back gets. Um, a lot of, but you always see for whatever reason, big people, big personalities. I, there's something that goes with it. You, you have a lot of uh, you have some interests outside of football, right? It was music and and some other things you've done, right? With at the school, I mean, kind of what are some of your other interests outside of football? Because I, I remember talking to you before about this. You have a pretty diverse. Uh, uh, list of interests. Uh, yeah, I'm in the band right now. I play <laughs> percussion. Um, I throw in track and field. I'm pretty good in that. But I think that's about it. I mean, yeah. you, but so do, when you on Friday nights or whatever, when you guys play, do you participate in the band at halftime no, or do you just I, okay? Because I've seen that. some guys do that. So you're just yeah. I'm are, are you like football. are you like concert band or whatever? Concert, yes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. What? And you see, you said percussion. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, is there? Is there a reason, you know, where did the, you know, what kind of was the genesis of that? And, you know, kind of who got you started into that? Uh, my 
my mom's side of the family is very music musically inclined i would say uh so it, it was always like she wanted me to be like more than just a football player and so starting out i just kind of grabbed on to music and then percussion and then i just kept going through it through high school and i loved it since what is more um what causes you more anxiety uh you, a, a fourth and one where you know you got to get that extra yard or two you got to get that push to get the yard or a or a concert performance concert performance 100 percent. is that i mean why is is there just is it because you think there's more time to think with that or kind of why do you think that is because that's kind of the answer i expected out of you but um you know what what about that gets gets the blood flowing i guess well with with a fourth and one like you you just have to prove that you're the better man and just move that person in front of you but with with music is like it's all just flowing together and, and if if you mess up everybody can hear you so it, it is really nerve-wracking well, that's kind of an interesting statement, though, because as an offensive lineman, you uh, its cohesiveness is is so oh, yeah. important. It's I mean, do, do you th is is there maybe some psychological thing there with you where it it helps you in both arenas that that cohesiveness and working with others and working with teammates? Do you think that maybe kind of helps you in terms of the crossover between the two? Yeah, that certainly helps. <laughs> All right, well, we, uh, we're going to let you go here, Donovan. We appreciate you doing this. Um, congratulations on your decision. Uh, we'll be sure to be keeping up with you here uh, throughout the next year before you get to Ohio State. But, uh, you know, we'll turn it over to you. If, if there's anything you want to say to Ohio State fans who may be watching, uh, we'll turn it over to you. Uh, just this, this next year, I'm ready to get on campus and uh, go Bucks.